And defend, he manages to save three out of four um, science vessels, so that was a pretty good move there by Flash. Uh, Effort had to sacrifice a good number of Scourge, although he did land on one of them. Or rather, he killed one of them. That's a lot of mines there, jeez. Um, and it's a pretty good defense, actually, against uh, a Zerg with lots of Hydras, as you can see. Um, I mean, he's going to need a lot of Overlords there uh, just to not die to those those turrets. I mean, we all know a, a turret and mine combo is pretty good against, um, you know, Protoss and against uh, Zerg. Uh-oh, here comes a big attack from the ground, from Effort. Is Effort going to be able to do this? I don't know, though. Oh, man. Oh, Effort, once again, I think, maybe may have committed to a bad attack there, just like he did last game. Well, at that pivotal point when he moved out about, like, eight lurkers, he got slaughtered piecemeal. This might have been uh, the same thing here. Um, Effort feeling a little bit antsy, perhaps, at not having additional attack, has just sacrificed his entire army to basically do nothing. He has this group of Hydras left, but that's it. He sacrificed maybe a, a dozen and a half Hydras, all of his Mutas. Man, he took out almost nothing. I mean, Flash had a critical D-Matrix on the tank. Ouch. So that's even things up um, quite a lot there, especially if Flash manages to pick up his left side two bases, as he's trying to do. And Effort, since he doesn't have an army right now, uh, is going to let him do it, unfortunately. As you can see, uh, Effort's food count is now 20 below Flash's after that big, um, big failure of a battle there from Effort. I think maybe he needs to uh, stop hanging out with Quanro. Um, that would actually explain it <laughs> perfectly. I mean, Quanro rushing up, uh, you know, basically Quanro brushing off on him. Honestly, both are on CJ, and Quanro is known for being very good, except that he attacks too soon often, and uh, that is as much of a mistake as not attacking sometimes in StarCraft. Um, so perhaps Effort needs to uh, learn some more zen about attacking. Uh, meanwhile, though, Effort is going to have to play defensively here on the right side. He is trying to expand to the two middle expansions, but Flash is having none of it. He has so many Hydralisks, jeez, but that's not going to complement the late game tech very well, I don't think. I mean, uh, Defilers are good with Lings and Ultras, not a, with Hydras, really. And his Hydras are facing off against exactly what tanks, uh, against tanks, which is exactly what tanks are good for, Hydralisks in this situation. Um, so right now, Effort is going to lose that right side. It looks like his middle forces are going to be forced to retreat. Effort in trouble. Oh, man, Flash multitasking, like I said. Now attacking on the left side, where Effort's just trying to put up some sunkens. Not going to get up on time. He has these large, unwieldy Hydralisk armies, which are good against Goliaths, but not good against tanks and Goliaths. Not at this point. Man, not with 2-2 also. Upgrades on the metal here. And Flash right now. Oh, man. <laughs> Effort even trying to drop on Flash's tanks, but Flash right now is able to repel everything here with his tank and Goliath force. Very, very difficult for Effort to do anything, and Flash's slow, slow push has managed to actually uh, pay off for him. He's managed to pick up five bases now, um, if you include the first two, uh, and, and now he is definitely ahead in the game. 176 to 137, and Flash with a superior footing. I think Flash may have uh, come back a little bit here to win, um, oh man, there's a lot of swarms, but like I said, Lings are not the, well, Lings and Hydras are not the combination you exactly want. You really want, uh, you know, something like Lurker Ling, or better yet, Ultra Ling against Mech in the late game, um, with some Plagues. But this is not that, this is, uh, just Lings at this point, and some Hydras and Swarm. Um, however, Lings still, I mean, as you can see, everything is Dark Swarm, so these couple Lings still could do a lot of damage. Man, there's just not enough, though. I mean, as you saw there, the splash damage from tanks killed all the lings just before they were going to tear up uh, some more tanks. So I got to call that another failure. An effort right now is definitely going to lose the game. I don't think there's uh, much of a way back. Flash has managed to, uh, once again, um, you know, come back a little bit and uh, and, and play, play almost flawlessly. Um, right now, five base against five base, but Flash being the Terran player is going to take the lead at this point. Uh, with this kind of resource and uh, is imbalance, and certainly with the unit imbalance, as you see here. Um, I mean, Flash has an army that's unassailable, basically, a nearly maxed out Terran metal army against Zerg. And uh, you really need that perfect combo of units that I was talking about. And, oh man, I think Effort has committed too much to Hydralisks and, uh, and earlier on to Mutalisks. I'm not sure exactly his logic. I guess it's kind of a stopgap measure, but late game Hydralisks are just kind of obsolete um, against Flash's build, especially with all those tanks. 
Wow, uh, I'm a little surprised at this, honestly. Um, so, I mean, I do expect, uh, you know, perhaps a, ch a tried for some ultras, but, oh man, at this point, Effort is pretty much out, and we're unfortunately not going to be able to see a Game 3. Effort now is kind of going, uh, forced into a suicidal attack. I don't blame him for this, because he knows that he'll be behind if Flash can keep all of his bases, so he's going to try his best. Move in, let's see what he can do. Uh, Flash, though, with these critical d because, oh, look at that bloodbath, there's no way that anything's going to happen here on the front lines for Effort, and Effort might as well GG at this point, like he did last game. Oh, brutal. Hydralisk's bombs not going to work out for, um, for Effort. Oh, jeez. I feel bad for him, because he is a, a, a superb Zerg player in general, and, uh, Flash is just, just, um, right now tearing him up. Uh, and I do think, though, that Effort may have been a little over-aggressive at some points. He may have also have uh, stayed too long on this kind of weird mid-game tech. Um, not the best tier to be on when your opponent's at the at the tank Goliath uh, science festival stage. And right now, I mean, it's going to be a bit longer, but, uh, you know, I think the game's inevitably going to be flashes. Now, those are ultralists, obviously, and there is drop. So maybe, just maybe, with a combination of some kind of uh, frontal and uh, frontal attack and drop, Ephra can do something. Oh man, look at that nice irradiate on the Scourge. Um, that's going to stop them from uh, taking out a vessel. Meanwhile, Flash just expanding where where Effort was previously. I mean, he is just uh, ruthless here with with taking over new territories. That's exactly what he needs to do. He needs to prevent himself from. Uh, he needs to basically stay out of the situation where the Terran has a much bigger army, but the Zerg um, has the only resources on the map. That happens very often, but of course that's not going to happen this game. Flash is good at avoiding that with his good econ um, skills. And uh, Flash right now is going to be facing a big ultra drop on top of his tanks. Good move there from Effort. Let's see if he can uh, get something started here. Oh, no, but look at that vessel cloud. Oh, man, they're just going to irradiate everything, but not before losing a number of vessels. So Flash right now may be in a bit of trouble. Um, he still has such an economic lead, though, that I don't think even with the heroics there, it's going to be enough for Effort to have a chance. I still think Effort is pretty much dead here um, just because of the resources. But I have been wrong before. We're gonna see what happens. Flash keeps alive about six, uh, six or f yeah, six, seven science vessels. He also keeps alive his central tank line, which is critical. Um, and just more tanks for him. He's going pure tanks here against the Ultralisks. Not a bad move overall. Although mines also are, are a very good move um, against Ultras. Ultras are especially susceptible to them. Um, and looks like Flash right now is going to have to defend here with uh, tanks. He's going to move back um, into that middle area that he controls so well with those ridiculously uh, well-positioned tanks. Like, those two tanks are very hard to attack because they're in that kind of alcove. Uh, regardless, um, oh, wow, Effort GG. So Effort knows um, the moment when he is behind, he just GG's. Uh, he realizes the game is inevitably going to be Flash's, and the series is Flash's also. So good games I, I certainly enjoy these longer games um, and uh, you know while there wasn't any kind of amazing cheese or anything uh, these were highly enjoyable and highly skilled games um, I do think flash played better in this series and is looking very very good I mean just in general he looks healthy uh, you know honestly uh, he, he looks well rested and a well rested flash Jesus Christ that is ridiculously hard to beat um, you know <laughs> if you just give the kid enough sleep it's like just like you're just allowing a giant to, to, to come out of bed, basically. You basically have to keep Flash uh, underwater. It's the only way to suppress him, actually, drowning, near drowning. Anyway, all right. Hope you guys enjoy the commentaries. Uh, I might be continuing tonight with a couple more solos. I don't know, though. I am rather exhausted, so maybe not. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I will be trying to cast more the next couple of days. Uh, and this is Cholera, signing off.